Welcome to the installation guide for the Electron Launcher SDK 2.0. The Electron Launcher SDK offers a streamlined environment to develop patch kit electron based launcher themes. With the ability to emulate various launcher states, you can efficiently test and refine your custom code. Before we dive in, let's make sure you have the right tools. First, ensure you have Node.js installed. We recommend using NVS and specifically Node.js version 16.16.0. .16 then, a package manager. We suggest Yarn, but NPM and PNPM work just as well. Finally, an app catalog on the PatchKit panel. If you haven't created one yet, do it now. You can find a link to where you can do that in this video's description. Okay, we're now ready to proceed. First, you'll need the PatchKit example launcher.zip. You can find the direct link to this file in the video description below. Once you have it, unpack the file into your desired directory. Now, navigate to the theme directory and run the following commands. CD theme. Yarn. And finally, yarn start. It's normal to see some console warnings at this stage. They won't interfere with the functionality. With the theme component up and running, it's time to bring the launcher to life by initiating the runtime component. But first, open a new terminal window while keeping the previous one active. The commands you'll need vary based on your operating system. As we're demonstrating on a Mac, we'll be using the appropriate command from the list. However, be sure to choose the one that matches your platform. Upon completion, you'll see a launcher window with the PatchKit demo game library. It's worth noting that, by default, this launcher doesn't use the app catalog you've set up. If you're keen on switching to your personal game collection, it's a straightforward process. Locate and open the shared preset.js file. You can find it inside the runtime slash src directory. Within it, find the app's catalog ID property and update it with your app catalog's ID. Before making the switch, ensure you have at least one published and visible game in your catalog. If not, your launcher will appear empty without any games listed. That wraps up our installation guide for the Electron Launcher SDK 2.0. If you're eager to delve deeper, we've got more guides right here on our channel, including the next one focusing on the SDK's usage and deployment. As always, for comprehensive steps and additional resources, the written documentation is at your disposal. Don't forget to browse our other tutorials for more insights. Happy coding!